So my little my little speech um, is only it's only about five minutes, but I suppose I wanted to try and reflect upon upon two things that I think um, Food on the Edge is about. Um, one of the things Food on the Edge is about is, is the small things in life. I think it's through these small things that we will make um, this island a great uh, place for food. I'm talking about the small farms, the small fishing communities, the small food communities inland. And for many, many years, I suppose we didn't have the confidence to assert that small was good. We always strove to be bigger, to get bigger, and to grow more. And with this, I suppose we see a lot of the problems that we have now with, uh, with food at a global, at a global level. Um, but by growing small, uh, we can connect with each other. And we live in such a small world now because of the internet, because of um, social media. We can reach out to anybody, anywhere. Maybe I'm not on the top of Everest, but fairly close. Um, and it, Food on the Edge aims to connect with these small food communities around the world and bring people together who care about food and the way that we produce it. I think now, um, particularly as a chef or a restaurateur or anyone in the food industry, that it's no longer enough to say that you just don't know or that it's, you're just not able. I think we're all responsible for the food that we consume and we have a choice to make this um, better. I don't think anyone here now could say that they don't have the choice. Um, growing small, I think, is the only way you can do this. So large food businesses are not the only answer to the global food problems such as poverty, malnutrition and starvation. I think one of the other central principles of Food on the Edge is, um, is sustainability. I think we cannot continue to meet our goals in the way that we produce food now. And we need to change our own food systems. We need to, weigh, we need to change the way we grow food and we need to change the way that we eat food. I want to see Ireland to become truly sustainable in terms of food. I want to see Ireland lead the way in things like organic farming. Only 2% of our farmland is organic, and this is not enough. We have a beautiful green land, and we should be, it should be our duty to ensure that we continue that greenness into the future. We all come from humble origins, I think, as Irish people, and I'm not here to romanticise the Irish food industry. It's the best of times, and it's the worst of times. But I hope, when we look back at this moment, to the lens of history, I hope that we can say that Food on the Edge was part of one of the beginnings of Irish food. One of the many beginnings of Irish food that have been taking place since the 1970s in the Irish cheese, uh, Irish farmhouse cheese uh, revolution that started in West Cork. Um, food on the Edge aims to make the good food and to empower people to change. I want to encourage chefs and food industry professionals at all levels to change. Our speakers from all over the world will come to Galway this October and show that a better world is possible. And I want all of you to be part of this journey. I hope that Food on the Edge will inspire all of you to do something, however small. Grow a herb garden, plant some apple trees, buy a farm and go organic. These are just a few of the small possibilities. You can probably think of many, many more. Thank you.